Alright, and then Crudle from World Village Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First on the con side, the game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons, as I always like to say. Uh, two to four players, so you can't solo it, you can't go more than four, so if you've got a bigger game group, might not be for you. Also, it says ages seven and up, so this is not the meatiest of strategy games. There is some strategy there, but definitely if you're a big strategy gamer, you might want to steer clear. Uh, also, there's no real art in this game. Uh, it is just matching colors, so if you're a big art buff, might not be your cup of tea. Last thing I want to mention is, the game says it's 15 minutes. It is 15 minutes if you're playing the standard version. However, the advanced version, I think, is much better, and it is a lot longer than 15 minutes. So take that for what you will. Uh, moving on to the pros, though. I really liked and recommended Crudel back when it was this little tiny tool. So let me tell you. Now that it's this big box, it is fantastic. I love it. The components are much better. The board is very nice. I like how you got the little pieces in front of you so you can see exactly where you're going. You can see where everybody's going. Uh, they really uh, went back, retooled the game, and did a bang-up job with it. But going on, this is a fantastic family game. And if you are in the market for a family game, I cannot recommend Crudel enough. And the first thing I want to stress is you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck with this game. This is the kind of game that you can teach to a 6 or 7 year old and they're still going to play it when they are 13 or 14 with you. You're going to get a lot of time out of this game. And that's something that a lot of games don't do, especially children's game and some earlier family games where they're not going to want to play it once they get older because it's just too easy or too childish. And Crudel definitely does, it doesn't... It doesn't fall into that pit hole. Uh, moving on, it is a it does have the strategy that you're looking for, especially in the advanced version. But it's not an intimidating game. This would be a very good gateway game. You can bring this to Thanksgiving. It's not going to scare Grandma away from playing it, which is always good to have games like that on your show. The last thing I enjoyed about Crudel is that, that I really love how all the pieces work, and I love the timer. Um, it doesn't come with a timer, but that's really not a big deal because nearly everybody's cell phone has one. But the timer really adds an extra sense of urgency to the game, which I really do like. Because when you're playing the standard game, and I do like the standard game, you know, there's no sense of urgency. You play three tiles and you just go around. It's a very relaxing game. However, with the timer, it's like, oh, I want to do this and this and this. And I want to get rid of all my tiles so I can get that five tile bonus. And then you're like, but crap, I, I want to keep this piece because I might need that piece and I'm going to win the game and I don't want to do this and that. And it really does create that extra added sense of urgency you get in games, kind of like Escape. And I really do like that aspect of the game. Overall, though, Crudel is a fantastic game that I think you need to check out if you're in the market for a family game. Uh, be sure to check out the Kickstarter link below. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That was the review for Crudel. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.